Uh, well, we're, we're in London Bridge. We're a bit late for, the, uh, for our, our next class. It's to see Orlando. Oh, <laughs> years of training. <laughs> years of training. Um, we're here to see Orlando Roach, who's uh, a uh, Kakashinkai uh, master, which is also known as uh, Knockdown Karate. Wow. So uh, I've had a stiff coffee and um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what to expect because it, it's full contact and uh, um, I can hear them and, and it sounds like something from Enter the Dragon. <laughs> but look, I'm late, so I better, I better get up there. eight years old I came here September uh, bitly cold um, my nose was running I just left my grandparents who I assume were my parents uh, because that's how I was, I was brought I was brought up from uh, from I think I was about between six and nine months old by my grandmother so I assumed that she was my mother I didn't know any any difference till uh, till the day before when they were packing my suitcase and I saw my name had changed from <laughs> C.O. King to C.O. Roach and I, was, I, was, I kicked off with my uncle like you know that's not my name you know my name's King not Roach um, and he sort of taunted and teased me you know your name's Roach kind of thing and I, thought, I, don't, I didn't know if I called him a bastard at the time but I, it was words or thoughts along those lines that was going through my mind and uh, yeah came here when I was, was eight years old so yeah, my, my, my grandparents brought me up. Come on, Yurik. Soto! Soto! I got involved with a mate came around, it was in the Bruce Lee era. Um, yeah, I, hear the, I remember those days. And uh, that was what first got me started when um, uh, a friend of mine, Warren, came around and invited me to, to, to go to this club. And I went a little bit skeptical, I suppose. Um, but that was the start of a, a quest. <laughs> it, it became it became a part of life. It became a way of life. You know, it was it was. I had the bug. I was I was I was I was training six six and a half days a week. So if you fight, you got a fighter who's standing orthodox. What's, what's and orthodox? So most people stand left boom. down forward, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Unless they're unorthodox, so they're southpaw. southpaw. So if I'm fighting someone like yourself, I want you to move because I believe you're in your strongest position. Yeah. So I want to. To get me off there. Get you off there, then you're in a weaker position as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah? There, come through. There. Yeah? So that's the idea. I want to I wanna soften you up. We must use that one. I want to soften you up. Yeah, yeah. Completely softened. You know, you didn't wake up and say, well, what am I going to have for breakfast today? If you thought about how am I going to go, where am I going to go and train today or who am I going to go and train with? And 
you know, is it going to be good and what are we going to do, you know. Um, so, yeah, it became obsessive. I, I suppose that's, that's the way to describe it. I enjoyed it, I liked it, and I became good at it. Those are the reasons I, I've been doing it. And now I, I enjoy, I don't train, I don't train as, as much as I used to. I, I spend a lot of time um, instructing. Um, and that gives me a different, that gives me a different element or a different value um, and different pleasures um, from that. So uh, I suppose those, those, in a nutshell, I enjoyed it. Um, I can, I've continued to do it because I enjoy it. And I think when I don't enjoy it anymore, I shall stop. Or yeah. when I can't do it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> when you can't stop. do it anymore, more yeah. like, yeah. Yeah! Nate! Son! Yes! Aye, Mote! Yes! Slowly again. Ach! Take your time, take your time, focus. Imagine you've got someone in front of you. They're the same in boxing as they are in karate. We, we only punch with two knuckles, yep. which are these two. Um, and the premise of it is that you've, the, the, the movement is one continuous movement uh, with the wrist in line with the, the rest of the arm. Well, that, with a little twist on twist the end. Twist on the end. Then okay. What's the, twist for? the idea is that as I'm punching her, I want to push. Yeah. The, the, the whole premise of karate, as I understand it, is that when I punch, I'm not punching you here, I'm actually punching you there. Straight so I want, I want my fists to go through, through my, uh, your abdomen. Through my body. Yeah, just go straight <laughs> through. And that's, that's, I mean, that's how we practice. I mean, there's other stars where they're, they're pulled back. Yeah. We don't. We go, through. we go through. Contact is, there's a substantial amount of contact. <laughs> Alex. What, what the difference between a, a soft style and a, and a hard style is? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd liken a soft style to something like Tai Chi, which is a very soft flowing. I mean, you can, can be forceful in its own right, but it's very graceful movements, very soft, you know, flowing techniques. And more kind um, of internal. Yeah, emphasis. Emphasis, yeah, on 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 the on the techniques. But with the, the karate that we do, the Kaikishin karate that we do, it's there's a lot of um, eff emphasis placed on endurance and effort <laughs> and you know hard work, perseverance, and, and I think that's a fundamental difference between what we do uh, as opposed to to others. Yeah. One more. Oh yeah. The flexibility, yeah. the dexterity. We can do all the soft techniques we can do. Yeah, so it's not just about power. Okay. We have a range of techniques. Can I show, show um, me some of them? Well, one of the ones I like is the sweep. Yeah. Okay, so from here. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to take both your legs yeah. and you're going to end up on the floor. Fine. Okay, so from here, what I'm going to do is going to come across you. And this technique is used in, in competitions because you're not allowed to grab or hold. No, it's grabbing correction. Yeah, so from there you come across. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. Oh, <laughs> the style of karate we do is, is, is quite well known, I think. It's, it's renowned for its severity. Um, <laughs> you, it, we try to ensure that, or we, we're, we're trying to make it look as realistic as is possible on the streets within the, the guidelines that we have. Um, mm. It is not for everyone, it's, it's, it's quite harsh and not every participant returns having experienced it. But uh, Kaikushin Karate is, I've always done it, it's, it's been part of life, it's, it is a way of life. Um, I've done it for 27 years. Um, I can't see myself doing anything else to be quite honest. I just love it. It's, mm. It's rigorous, it's, it's hard, it's torturous sometimes, but I, I, I enjoy it. Come on. 
With, with Orlando, it's just, uh, I know it all looks controlled and, and uh, it looks like we're not hitting, and we're not hitting, but it's very dangerous. Uh, the guy's awesome, he's got awesome strength and technique and control, and every one of those punches that comes in, you can feel there's just so much, so much more power, and uh, there's such a... Uh, a lack of flariness, it's just boom, 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 this works. But strangely enough, in, in the lack of flariness, it looks very beautiful. So, uh, again, I'll learn something. Come on, Fido Pichara! Okay, yeah, you got it. That's the one. One more. Okay, yeah, that's good. I notice um, it, it seems like a very aggressive environment and coming in we were all saying, oh my god, this is the only class we actually felt quite worried. But I, I kind of feel that, that the opposite is happening is, is you're learning to switch your anger off, control it, and then switch it, switch it on. You're learning to switch your anger on, control it, and then switch it off when you don't need it. Is, is that I think that you're a better person if you can control the technique. I mean, why, why would you want to hurt anyone? Yeah, if yeah. I can control it and demonstrate to you that I can do it, hopefully that will say to you, or you say to yourself, hey, yeah, no, but I don't think anyone really wants to hurt anybody. No, but, but, but you learn to use your uh, aggression in this. You switch it on and switch it off. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. I mean, guys come in here sometimes, they've had a, a really hard day at work or they've had a bad day and they want to let off steam. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's let off in a controlled environment yeah. and they shake hands afterwards and they go out and have a drink. Don't get me wrong, I've, I've never been in a situation where I felt, or prior to doing martial arts, where I felt helpless. Yeah. Um, if anything, I was a little bit of... I had, <laughs> yeah, opposite. I, opposite. I, was, I, was, I, have a, I had a temper and to control that temper was sometimes difficult. So I think in, in actual fact, the, the, the martial arts, the karate is actually channeled my enthusiasm and my energies in, in a more positive direction. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, you, you, you do take certain aspects of your training into your everyday life. You, you do, I mean, I, 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 I've, I've been at the, the, the um, traffic lights and I've seen incidents with other motorists and, and then because you've eyeballed the situation, you, you suddenly become <laughs> embroiled in it because they want to they have a go at you now. And you think, oh, I'm just <laughs> not going. But whereas prior to the martial arts, I would have said, you know, if you challenge me in that respect, I would have got out of the car and thought, well, come on, let's, let's get it on. 
And now you just say, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> through the pad. Kick through the pad. Can, what, just just kick, kick through the pad. <laughs> Come on, Glenn, kick. <laughs> kick. <laughs> kick. <laughs> now, you're holding. What? Holding. You're stopping. You're Come stopping on. the kick. Yep. So you're stopping it there. Yep. I want to kick through your leg. Fine. I want to break your leg. I make yagi. Ninju. Switch. Ninju. Switch. Ochi mowash. Ochi mowash. Switch. Soto mowash. Soto mowash. Kata. I last set. Let's go. Hai kete. Kete. Switch. Hai. Sun. Chi. It's just, it's just seeing him over the years. I mean, I've got an awful lot of respect for him because of the amount of time he's given up. He's invested a lot of time and he hasn't been paid for it. It's all, in, in actual fact, it costs him money to go to the club because you don't get paid, you don't get your expenses, you give your time up for nothing. And for that alone, you know, you've got to have a lot of, of, of genuine respect for the man. Yeah. He's a very affable character. He's a good laugh. He knows when to be serious. You know, mm -hmm. he takes his karate seriously. If you watch him spar, you know, if you watch him spar during one of his sessions, you realise how good he is. He's very good. Um, and, you know, to, to, to give up all that time over 20 years on a regular basis... You know, give kid. You know, we we come from a quite a deprived area, and you know, kids come from all sorts of backgrounds. And he's given his time up. He takes them all over the country, takes mm. them abroad, doesn't get paid for it, pays his own way. You know, to do that for twenty years is not a sort of fly by night operation. And and for that, you've got to say, you know, fair play to him. And you know, if if I hold, if I ever, you know, whenever I sort of think about what he's done or or what type of person he is. I, re I remember the two things. The first time I saw him at that meeting where I thought to myself, yeah, he's all right. And then I always remember the amount of, you know, the sacrifices he makes for others. It, it happened pretty quick for me. Um, a few months into the, into the session, I realised that I, there was something I really enjoyed about doing that, that type of karate. And um, it wasn't, re I just thought it was, the, everyone was the same at that point. It wasn't until later on that I realised that um, he's quite an exceptional instructor along those lines. Other, other instructors that, that I've trained with, um, as, a, as a visiting uh, student, um, th there's a common theme of, of hardness, with, uh, <laughs> of, of energy and, um, and techniques. But it's the it's the fighting that that we do um, that actually makes Orlando's club um, special, I think. As an instructor, now you what you want to see is. You want to see your students replicating what you used to do when you were their age. And you, you want to see progression. Uh, you want to see that they are moving forward. And that, that, that's good for me, because at least you, you think, well, they're listening and I'm, I'm, I'm doing the right job. It's the most frustrating part, I think, of teaching is to, to teach someone for a long time and then you, they don't appear to have any any advancement, um, that's quite difficult. Shitaski into the stomach. He's a geary, my geary. Got that? Again. Oitsuki, front, back. Kage to the ribs. Your own ribs. Shitaski. He's a my geary. We all talk about empowerment and the, 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 the inner strengths that we have. We've all, we all possess these things. Um, sometimes you need someone to help you extract them. Um, 
and and that can come in many forms, in many ways. You, you could, you know, you you was talking about stroking. I'm talking about patting. Uh, <laughs> it's the same to me. It's it's one and the same. You you are extracting and encouraging someone to to build confidence, and 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 that's how you do it. Uh, now there's different ways of doing it, but that that's a way of doing it. How do you empower them? By by allowing them to have the belief that they can do you know what it is that they, they want they want to do yeah that, that's 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 fairly strong yeah it's kind of helping them to uh, to achieve their uh, individual we all goals goals isn't it? yeah so i have a goal my goal is to get them to a <coughs> level of proficiency um their goal their own personal goal is to achieve x whatever um and i i if i if if i am if i'm doing my bit then I, you know, they by by the same token will do their bit, and and we will get there together. So it is a it's a joint joint effort. Uh, kiak with the spin, okay. Oops. So from there, oitsuki yakuski oitsuki. My Gary, pull back there, around, okay. Again, one, two, three. My Gary, back spin. Three sixty rotation. So the same leg does the kick. Coming this way, and then you'll change going that way. Kata? In the dojo, you, you know that you know you, you've got the kiai, you've got the 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 importance of us. The, the, the kiai? Yeah, the, 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 it's it's like a shout that we, we give to you, you and you're encouraging other people to to strive a little harder and push themselves that foot much more, um, and and that's what you get from from building a strong base, which is what we have. Um, individuals feed off each other, so when you, when someone's next to you is is flagging, the other individuals pulling them up, and this 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 spirit of us kiai, you know, that creates that that kindred, and uh, makes you strive harder. Oh! Don't open your hands, Joe. Block. Keep it closed. Strike. Ah! I harder, faster. That's it. I think now, uh, especially at this particular institution, we, we are running an, a business. So in many ways, the, the, the training is watered down because, you know, if it's too hard, people don't come back. Um, so it's a balancing act, I think, that we, we do now. But I mean, we still like to think that we're, we're doing a fairly hard style of, of martial arts. But I, I know if we compare it to when I started, to what's happening now, there is a, a vast difference in the way that uh, I instruct as opposed to how my instructors instructed me. But I think now you you, you have to be you, you have to be careful in the way you instruct and how you know even teaching kids you've got to be careful. I know you don't you don't you don't actually teach kids, but or as yet, but the, you know we we have a, a, a kiddies class, and you have to be careful. You know. We tell them how to place their hands and this, that, and the other. You can't touch them, or you're not supposed to. Um, but you, I think sometimes we can go a little bit overboard with the rules. Mm. Um, yeah. And at the end of the day, we are doing a physical sport, so there's going to be some sort of contact. Remember some of the takes we, we, techniques we did earlier. Try them out. This is when you practice. I don't consider myself to be a master. I'm a. I'm not an expert. I'm good at what I do, um, and any any individual walking the streets could do what I do if they're put in the same amount of time that I've put in. Um, you know, we've all got a brain, two arms, two legs. Uh, we don't always use it in that order, but if the individuals apply themselves, then there's no reason why they shouldn't be as proficient as myself. I to the count. H A San Chi Chi Go Brook Shush Hunch Chuch A San Chi Go
I think if you if you can get if you can learn something and you can pass it on to someone else, uh, what you know why wouldn't you want to do that? What 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 would you not gain from seeing you know another individual benefit from your knowledge? Let's let's see what the uh, instructors who like to keep the knowledge watching this show will uh, think. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's, it's, I think I think it's I think it's not necessary to retain the knowledge. I mean, what what is so secretive about what you may know? that you can't pass on to an individual um, to, to help them in life. I went to Orlando to see what actually happens in a knockdown karate class. I also wanted to see the people this more extreme form of martial arts training appealed to. Everyone I met in class was very friendly, intelligent and very centred, all of which I see as a direct reflection of Orlando himself and his teaching style. I've met many masters over the years, but after my time with Orlando, I think I finally understand that martial arts masters are quite simply individuals who use the discipline they acquire through their training to be the best they can be in all that they do.